Hi everyone, Ian here from Grosvenor Resourcing Sales Recruitment. I am going to talk today about something slightly different from the norm. Um, I'm going to talk about video content for social media and should people do it and if so why and how. Um, obviously like I say, a bit of a departure from the norm. Uh, my videos are usually about recruitment and uh, and you know job vacancies. But I had a thought, I just wanted to share this thought really. Uh, the reason it came to mind is because I've seen quite a few posts on LinkedIn recently where people have asked um, about how they should go about doing video content, should they indeed do video content at all, and um, I thought, well, okay, I've done a few now, so I will um, just share my thoughts on it. The short answer is yes, absolutely think people should do video content um, for social media. I think it's engaging, it's a good way to get your message across, it shows, uh, puts a face to the name, yeah, face to the name, um, and it shows people a bit about who you are and how you come across. So I think it's a great idea, and obviously it's a good way also of um, demonstrating products, if you sell products, uh, if that's what your business does, or talking about the services that you offer, if that's what your business does. So I think it's a great idea. There are some key elements to remember though, and this is what I'm going to talk about today. First off is um, a lot of people will be uh, put off or hindered by the idea that videos need to look really polished and um, really professional and they need to you know, have all this sort of production value. And that's because a lot of the videos that we see on the internet and see on social media are done by people who put a lot of um, time, effort and money into producing them. But those people are people who've either got a massive production budget and marketing team and, and lots of people around them uh, to do that and to come up with the content and come up with the videos and then shoot them or they're people who have been doing it for a long time and have progressed to that stage. It's a bit like the fitness models on Instagram. You know, they're not necessarily reality or they've got to that point through a lot of hard work, which you don't necessarily see, you just see the finished article. And video content for social media for your business is the same. Don't, um, don't let yourself get bogged down in the idea that it needs to be, um, you know, brainstormed initially and thought of, uh, and, and you know, think about it too much. Just basically, just get started. That's the first key to creating uh, good video content for your business. Um, just get started. You've got to get, you know, the video's got to exist for people to like it and comment and engage with you on it. Point number two sort of carries on from that, uh, and about not looking for perfection. This video isn't perfect and it's far from it and I know that, but I also know that it's better than the first video I ever posted. And you need to realize that you're never ever, you're never going to uh, please and impress everyone. There was all there will always be someone who will find something wrong with your video or something to pick on or criticize about it. You're never going to please everyone, so don't even try. And don't look for perfect either, because that's that's just not going to happen and that will hold you back. The best thing to do is just get the video up there. You will progress. The more videos you do, you will improve and develop your skills in terms of presenting, in terms of talking and being more comfortable on camera and more comfortable putting that out there for people to see. Um, and the production value as well, the post shooting, um, editing, uh, that you do you know with whatever software you use to edit it the more you use that the more you do that the more um, skilled you'll get at that as well and it will become better over time so key point one get started point two don't look for perfection point three again follows on from those is frequency and consistency and frequency and consistency equal results and the results you want from your social media um, uh, video posting if you post a video once, it might look great, you might have spent hours doing it, you might have practiced and practiced, and then you might have taken several takes to record the video. 
But if nobody's going to see it, what's the po what was the point? And you might look, you might um, you might post it up all excited, waiting for the um, inquiries to come in, and then nothing happens. Three days later, your video's still only got twenty seven views, and you think, oh well, video's a waste of time. It obviously doesn't work. It's not going to work if you only do it the once which is where the frequency comes in. You need to be posting video content every day or every other day or pretty damn often anyway. Once a week isn't gonna be enough. Once, every, once a month certainly isn't gonna be enough. Um, I'll give you an example. I recently, I've, I mean, I've only been doing this regularly for a month now, um, posting at least three videos a week, which is, I still think, not enough, but I'm struggling to come up with content quite often. Um, but to give you an example, so since since the beginning of March, I've started doing this on a more regular basis. Then last week, I had some technical issues. My computer went down, um, and uh, wasn't able to do the 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 videos that I that I wanted, um, and so I didn't post as many. When I started back in the beginning at the beginning of March, my videos were getting between twenty and fifty views, depending on what. Um, you know when I posted, who I tagged, etc., etc. Um, but they were getting between twenty and fifty views. That gradually over March, as I regularly posted videos, that um, that number crept up to about two hundred. So each video was getting between one and two hundred views. Um, still not a massive amount, but great progress. And you know the more people that see it, the more people that are um, going to hopefully uh, know about my business. And um, potentially engage with me or um, enlist my services. So great. Then after this gap happened because of the technology uh, technical issues, I went back down to about fifty views, sixty views per video. So I'm having to gonna, gonna have to work my way back up again. And that's why frequency is key. It's not just to get the message out there as often as possible so that people see your business and see your brand. It's also the algorithms, if you don't post often enough, your post, your video isn't going to get onto people's news feeds. It's not going to get to the top of their feeds. So people aren't going to see it. So frequency is key. Consistency, again, is um, about the message you're putting out there, the brand that you're putting out there. So the product or the service um, has got to be consistent. And the video that tells people about that has to be consistent as well. Um, it doesn't mean to say you can't branch out and do other things like I'm doing today. I'm not a coach I'm not a social media guru or anything like that I'm just sharing uh, a thought about um, about video posting what you know something I've learned over the last couple of months um, but generally speaking my videos are about recruitment and um, that's what they will be about um, but the message is generally the same so and I think that's important for <clears throat> for your brand. The message needs to be consistent as well. So frequency and consistency, and that's what gets you the results. And the results equal, uh, sorry, frequency and consistency equal attention. And attention is um, attention then gets you the results depending on what you're putting out there. So it's important to post uh, often and post consistently. Um, you might be thinking, how can I come up with video content or video create a video every day? Yeah, I know it's tough. I struggle, like I say, I struggle to do it. Two ways to get around that. One, make the videos short and concise. 30 seconds to a minute, generally speaking, particularly if you're going on LinkedIn or Instagram or Facebook. Um, this one's going up on YouTube as well, so uh, hence it's a bit longer. Um, but generally, 30 seconds to a minute, um, and then with a bit of a call to action at the end, or you know something that's going to get people engaging with you or wanting to know more information. Um, so that way, it's it's quicker and easier to make uh, quicker to make the video, quicker to edit the video, and hopefully easier to come up with something that you can say for thirty seconds on a video. Uh, the second thing is, do it consistently for a month, um, every day. Then you've got twenty. Then you've got at least twenty one videos. If you're just doing it Monday to Friday, you've got twenty one videos that you've recorded. Then if you have a blip or if you have a day where you can't record a video or you can't think of anything to say or any content to put out there, just go back to the first video recorded or the second video or something. You know, you've got that back catalogue then of videos which you can utilise and use to post again. Because the message, if it's consistent, will still be relevant. 
you'll also then see the diff you know the difference in um or the improvement in the quality of your videos as you go on but don't worry about posting an old one um you know and the fact that it might not look as good or sound as good as your current one if the message is there and the message is consistent it won't matter but at least you're getting something out there some message some content out there for your potential customers and existing customers to see um so anyway i hope that was helpful um it's kind of helped me to share this because it's solidified some ideas in my mind um so thank you for that and uh, appreciate you watching um if i can help you with any recruitment um or if you want any ideas about um doing video content or um you want to know how i uh, put the subtitles on the video or any you know any technical um questions like that if i can help i will drop me an email it's um happy to uh, happy to help um if you like this video hit like uh, if you share, so if you, <laughs> what I say at the end of my videos, if you um, if you like, hit like if you like, and share if you care, because um, the more people that see this video, see the better for me, potentially helpful for them as well. So it'd be great if you did share it; it would be much appreciated. Um, but like I say, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.